So I think if there's one question that I get quite a lot, it is how do I even start to become a working cinematographer or director? Like, where where do you even begin, right? And for a lot of people, it's a very daunting thing. Uh, the film industry doesn't have a clear path into it at all. There are many, many different ways to get in and get started in whatever it is that you're trying to do. But first thing I'm gonna tell you is learn as much as you can. Um, some people go to film school, Actually, quite a lot of people come to go to film school, and my opinion is going to be a little bit different. If you want to learn something, if you are truly passionate and you want to learn something very bad and be very good at it, then you will probably find a way to learn that thing, right? I didn't have the money, I did not have the time to go to film school, take out a $70,000, $80,000 loan to learn a bunch of generic shit that I probably could have just gone on YouTube for. So, for me personally, I think that there are so many amazing resources out there besides just going to film school and just going that clear cut route. You can go on YouTube, there are so many working professionals that have way better channels than me teaching things like cinematography, directing, working with actors, the actual business side of what we do as well. The majority, the vast majority, not everybody, right? Um, so take this with a grain of salt, softies out there. The vast majority of people that I meet in Los Angeles who go to film school are people who end up becoming gig workers on set. Most of these people are waiting for permission to make their own projects. And I say this almost metaphorically. I say this because they go to film school, film school spoon feeds you into your mouth and tells you that you have to do X, Y, Z. You will work a position as a first assistant camera, let's say, or a camera PA. And then eventually, maybe one day, one day when they say that you can do it and you're good enough, right? Because you're waiting for that permission that we're talking about. Uh, you can eventually operate the camera if you're lucky enough. And then maybe a million union sets later and a million overnighters and a million hours of stress and working on other people's projects, you can maybe be the cinematographer, but you probably won't be for a very, very long time. And whether or not anybody likes what I'm saying right now, that is the harsh reality of the big high-end professional film world. Make your own stuff. Don't wait for anybody else to tell you that it's okay now and you've learned enough and that you know it's time that you get a promotion or maybe you should transition over to this or whatever it is. Make your own shit, right? It's not gonna be perfect at all, but now you're at least making your own shit and you are learning, right? And if you wanna do it in your heart and that's what you want, then why the hell are you waiting for anybody else to give you and grant you the permission of it? So the next thing that I'm gonna say that pairs to the, the last thing I just said is when you go and make whatever it is that you wanna make, fail, fail fucking hard. You're gonna make a million mistakes, right? And these mistakes are things that you learn from, right? I don't give a shit what textbook you open at all. I don't care what professor you have at all. I just made a film for a year and a half. I've never made a film in my life, right? I worked at a car dealership calling people on the phone to explain to them how their car works at a luxury car dealership, right? I watched movies and I said, I wanna fucking do that, right? I can go to a million classes and a million courses and, and, and gain enough knowledge to understand how to technically make a film and what tools it, it, it takes and how to get the actors in the scene. But there are just things that no classroom, no professor, no amount of anyone telling you anything in your ear at all can prepare you for that will actually be making a movie making any project at all because the mistakes that you make there is not a rule book there is not a textbook out there that can be thick enough for the possibility of the amount of mistakes errors and woulda coulda shouldas that you can possibly have on your first projects and even future projects if you want to do anything it's it's all a matter of repetition it's all a matter of exercising whatever it is you want to do in this life and when you do that and you do that more and more, you're going to make more mistakes. But the more mistakes you make, those are more lessons that you can use for your arsenal, right? 
and you will never progress forward, right? So if you're not getting started, right? If you're not getting started learning, then if you don't learn, then you will never do and make your own project. And if you don't do and make your own project, then you can never fail and learn from those mistakes and become better. Those are the three most fundamental things that I could possibly tell anybody at all. I am now out here in Los Angeles almost four years. I'm almost done with my first movie. I am beyond proud of this picture. It is something that I have fucked up on in so many ways you couldn't even imagine, but I would never get this experience any other way. You couldn't pay 90,000, 100,000 at any film school to make the amount of mistakes and learn the hands-on real world things, right? And I'm not talking just entirely about the technical. Nothing can teach you at all in a textbook about how to work with others, especially when you're friendly with them, when the tensions get high. Nothing can teach you at all on how to go to a very dark place in your mind when you are almost financially ruined the, the, making your first entire film. There are so many things that go along with this that you need to experience firsthand. And I hope this video comes to you in a positive light. I hope this is a wake up call to go out there, make your own shit, decide that it is you who wanted to be the filmmaker in the first place, right? Not anybody else, so stop waiting for permission, stop waiting for somebody else to tell you, it's okay, you're good enough now, or we'll let you do this. You wanna do anything in this life? Get up, get the fuck out, and do it yourself. That's all I gotta say, I am full of steam today, and that's it.